Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today I'm sorry, some Monster Legends so here today. We have a bunch of new monster leaks, as well as some new relics and some new movesets. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak we have is a Bruzard's description, and we also have Gobzerker's description and a Moskalin's description. So if you want to go ahead and read any of those, you can pause the video here. But if not, let's just go ahead and move on to the next leak, which is a brand new ancestral relic called the Barbarian Essence. So when any monster dies, they'll deal points of earth damage to all enemies and then apply daze to a random enemy which is okay daze isn't too great but the other two things are pretty good and then when the wearer dies if all allies are from the barbarian factions it'll revive the wearer with y points of life and apply burn to all enemies that is very good and then after damaging with a skill if cow rock rage skin is on the team it'll increase wearer's power and apply damage boost to the wearer so that's pretty good as well so this essence will be very good if you have cow rock rage skin That'll make it a very, very good essence. And then we have another relic called the Barbarian Trap. So after being damaged by a skill, if the wearer's life is above 50%, it will remove stamina from all enemies, which is amazing. And then if the wearer's life is below 25%, it will deal earth damage to the attacker and apply mega stun to the attacker, which is pretty good. And then if Bruzard is on the team, it will remove stamina from all enemies and apply stamina leak to all enemies, which is really good. So yeah, this one's really great as well. This trap is definitely worth getting. And then last but not least, we also have the armor. So let's Let's go and look at this. So when the turn starts, if wearer's life is below 50%, it will give armor to the wearer. And then after being damaged by a skill, if all allies are from the barbarian faction, it will deal points of fire damage to all enemies and apply ignite to all enemies, which is pretty good. And then at the start of the battle, if Gobziger is on the team, it will increase wearer's maximum life and apply double damage. So this one's pretty good as well, but it's definitely not as good as the other ones we looked at. But yeah, it's still pretty good. And then we have Immortal Ming's design right here, which looks pretty cool. Cool. And we also have Grammy's full design right here, which also looks really cool. And then we have a Mosklin's design, which looks cool as well. And then we have Albanessa's design. All of these look pretty great. I like every single one of them. Oh, and we have Kalita actually, which is really cool. This one might be my favorite. And then we have some skill updates. So for Gremmy before, it would not do Mega Possession, but now it does Mega Possession. And that is its ultimate. So yeah, pretty good update. And then for Bruzard, these just changed to hitting your entire team instead of just hitting you, which is kind of bad. He already wasn't super good. And then for Gobzerker, this move also now hits all of your allies, which is really bad. So yeah, both of these updates are just really, really bad. And then we also have a fraternity event for Sir Lance Float, which is going to be a brand new mythic that you'll be able to get from buying gems. So yeah, if you want to buy gems, go ahead and do them during this event. And then we also have a Grammy's traits right here. So we got protection from water, immune to freeze, and area drown, which is pretty good. Not like super OP or even really amazing, but yeah, they're decent. And then we have the Alpine Era Season 3 checklist completely checked off. So if you want to know where any monsters are going to be, check out this. And yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.